to understand what's the differences between the meat drive motor and hub motor? Hello guys, this is Yao with you. Welcome back to How To and Tips. The North American e-bike market was valued at $800 million in 2021, and absolutely, the number will be still stunning this year. Because of COVID and environmental awareness, people noticed that we need a green way for traveling to replace car or motorcycle. An e-bike assists riders to go fast and far and only consume electricity. So no doubt, that's what we are looking for. The need of e-bike drives the development of the technology. Now, riders choose different models, different motors, different batteries, different price ranges according to their needs. The performance of the motor is one of the hottest topics in most e-bike community. So, understanding the differences of mid-drive motor and hub motor is significant. Now, in this video, we'll talk about the pros and cons of mid-drive motor and hub motor. Let's start. First, what is mid-drive motor? The mid-drive motor gets its name from its location on the bike. Located in the middle of the bike frame near the bottom bracket where the cranks are attached, the mechanics required to coordinate motor power with pedals and shifting are a little bit more complicated than a hub system. And the correct gear is more important when riding an e-bike with mid-drive motor. Depending on programming, shifting may not feel as smooth as an e-bike with a hub motor. For example, if you are not pedaling with smooth even pressure, you may experience a surge in power while riding. Some people prefer mid-drive motors, and in some cases, they definitely make sense. Mountain bikers prefer a mid-drive motor for technical riding. And the center of gravity is in the lower middle of the bike, which is preferable on technical trails. The ability to better control the traction of motor is also great for varied terrain encountered when mountain biking, especially when climbing hill. Then let's talk about hub motor. <laughs> What you can see here is Match Cycle e-bike hub motor. The hub motor is located on the rear hub of the e-bike. It's completely sealed and self-contained and requires no additional maintenance. In-wheel motors. <laughs> okay, in-wheel motor deliver power seamlessly where and when it's needed independent of your pedaling and shifting efforts. Overall, the hub motor ends up being smoother because you don't have to worry about shifting too much or maintaining proper chain tension. Last, here comes the question, which motor is better? In general, in-wheel motors have proven to be more reliable and durable. Even if your hub motor fails, in most cases, you can still get home on a normal bike. Conversely, a mal malfunctioning mid-drive system or bike drive train means you are stuck with the bike that probably won't move. So in that case, you might need to call an Uber or call a taxi, whatever, then you can get home. So that's the knowledge about e-bike motor, and I hope it will be helpful to you. If you think there's anything you want to know, please tell me in the comment section. MadCycle always listen to you and design good quality products based on your creative advice. Guys, if you like my sharing but haven't subscribed us yet, please click the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. I will see you in the next update. Some people prefer me. <laughs> Even if you like your hot motor fails, in most cases you can still get home on a normal bike. Conversely, <laughs> Mad Cycle always listen to you and design good quality products based on your creative advice, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Go back. <laughs>